Real Salt Lake back in training here at America's First Field, coming off a 10-day break on the backside of a 2-0 win at home against Chivas USA. Next up, a rematch in the Western Conference semifinals as they face the LA Galaxy. It was important that we played a full 90 minutes, you know, uh, didn't allow them any counterattacks. I'm not sure, I, I don't think Nikki uh, was very busy at all that game, which is important. So we were able to establish offensive rhythm uh, and still keep them uh, off the score sheet. We know once you get into the playoffs, uh, goals are crucial and completely change games, especially with, you know, a two-leg system, uh, two-leg setup. And so obviously that was the big talking point up, you know, up in Portland. And then we came home. Uh, it was still a huge talking point for us as well because roll goals, uh, you know, have a huge weight on the series. Uh, and so for us, hopefully we can carry that into the playoffs uh, and, and, and remain, you know, steady on defense. Our mentality is right uh, heading into the playoffs. Uh, we've realized that you, you have to play on both sides of the ball extremely well to do well in the playoffs. And uh, we've had good offensive performances uh, in those last three games. Um, but even more important, not giving up any goals. The LA Galaxy coming off a 2-0 loss at home on the final day of Major League Soccer regular season play on the road at the Seattle Sounders. But the LA Galaxy finishing just three points out of first place in the Western Conference, and they lock down that second place spot, and they'll start on the road at Real Salt Lake. I'm not necessarily sure that there's a, a huge benefit because, you know, obviously you have to come out and take care of the business, uh, and so you have to get on the front foot and try to get three points. Uh, but, you know, in saying that, uh, nothing's, it's, it's basically just a half and half. And so I, I think we've played both sides of this many times where we've been home first or away first. And uh, for us, I, I don't really necessarily think that there's a benefit to it. When we play against LA, it's always uh, good games, you know, because especially for the fans to watch the game, you know, because everyone wants attack, you know, everyone wants to score goals. And that is very important for, for the sport. I think Saturday is not going to be the, the exception. Um, we're going to try to win Saturday, you know, to, be, to, to get the win and try to go to L.A. and, and get the results. First leg kickoff set for 6 o'clock Mountain Time at Rio Tinto Stadium, Real Salt Lake, playing host to the L.A. Galaxy. Standing room tickets still available, and this game will be on NBC Sports Network. We have to be like a little bit smarter, you know, and we have to be a little bit calm when we attack, you know, we can... We can't send people forward like crazy, you know, because if they, they get the ball, you know, with the space, they're pretty dangerous, so we have to be smart. You have to be aware of uh, where they're dangerous. You know, if you can deny service into their players, uh, that's extremely important. Deny them time and space on the ball so, they're, so they don't have time to be creative or punish you with a final ball and make sure that our team's shape uh, as we're attacking is good. They're certainly going to create chances. You know, how clean and clear those chances are remains to be seen. And so for us, I feel like as a group, uh, you know, how often can we limit them in and around the final third making those plays? Uh, sometimes when special players are in and out of games for longer periods of time, uh, they're not as clean when they're in the final third. And so for us as a group, I just think that we have to, you know, make sure we're not giving them any easy opportunities, any easy chances, make them work for everything they get. Uh, and even from there, you know, have a never say die attitude uh, and really, you know, try to get bodies in, in front of all of them. Catch RSL this Saturday at 6 o'clock on 100.7 Rewind FM or the NBC Sports Network.